in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Canon drivers for just about any Canon printer you have on your computer. So depending on what driver software you're downloading, it might look a little bit different than this. So I'm just going to put that out there. So it's going to say starting the software installation, follow the on-screen instructions. Select next. And again, this is going to look different depending on what printer you select. So don't be surprised if your appearance is a little bit different than mine. And at this point, it's a pretty straightforward walkthrough, but we're going to go a little bit further with this tutorial, so we're just going to hold on for a bit. So you might get a listing here asking what kind of software you want to install. I would recommend keeping them all checked unless you have a space issue on your computer. It only comes out to be about one and a half, one and three quarter gigabytes here. So if you wanted to free up some space, you could always remove my image garden if you didn't want to use pictures or create and modify images through there. And if you just wanted to be really critical, you can just keep the MP drivers checked. So for the purpose of this video, just to speed up the video a bit, I'm just going to install the drivers and the user manual. The manual is only about 10 megabytes, so it's not very big. So I'm going to select next here. After you look through the end user license agreement, you want to select yes. And then select next one more time. And then it will begin downloading and installing the software at this moment. And now you want to follow along with the ideal connection. So if this is going to be using a USB connection to pierce this printer, you want to make sure you plug it in. If it has wireless capabilities, you might be prompted if you want to explore that option as well. You want to just follow along with whatever is most applicable to you guys. So pretty straightforward. So at this point, it's just telling us to turn on the computer. And it's even pointing to us where on the printer we should turn it on. So it really can't be any more straightforward than that. So I'm just going to close out of here.